Here is how the Security and Exchange Commission is going down. What big mistake did the Commission made, and what does Jeremy Hogan say about it? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But first, we are giving away 25 XRP at the end of the month to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Welcome back XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel to stay updated at all times. On June 7th, the widely anticipated hearing that had been scheduled by Judge Sarah Netburn was finally held. The purpose of the hearing was primarily to force the Security and Exchange Commission to clarify its stance on the infamous Hinman notes and emails. After having their deliberative process privilege argument rejected, the plaintiff is now arguing that the notes and emails should be protected by the attorney-client privilege. During the hearing, Judge Netburn did not waste any time getting to the crux of the matter and urged the Security and Exchange Commission to help her understand what legal counsel Director Hinman got and for what reason it was given. She asked why did they need to get legal advice? Why did he want to get your opinion on that matter? The Security and Exchange Commission provided an explanation of the legal advice relating to the application of securities laws to digital assets for his speech. In response, the judge reminded the Commission that the court had previously accepted the Commission position that the speech was his own personal views and not Security and Exchange Commission guidance. The judge asked the Commission that, in light of recent events, do you still hold to that statement? The attorney for the Security and Exchange Commission then provided a new perspective on the matter by stating that despite the fact that the speaker was expressing his own opinions, he nonetheless sought legal assistance regarding the legal concerns he found in that address. The tension that Judge Netburn identified in the Commission position and reasoning was based on the fact that the Commission legal staff works for the Commission, which means that the agency is the client, but that the Security and Exchange Commission distanced itself from Hinman's speech. Specifically, Judge Netburn pointed to the fact that the Commission legal staff works for the Commission. The judge said, I am having a hard time reconciling attorney-client privilege with something that the Security and Exchange Commission said is not official guidance. I cannot be sure what legal advice could be given in the development of a speech that is a personal opinion. The Security and Exchange Commission counsel contended that the speech was delivered by Hinman in his position as Director of Corporation Finance, but the judge reminded him that the agency had previously argued that he was not speaking in his capacity as director of Corp Fin. The commission took a minute to respond properly, stating that Hinman sought legal counsel as director of corporation finance, as well as facts solely available to him in his position, with the goal of giving his own opinions in the 2018 speech. The judge was skeptical and accused the Security and Exchange Commission of explicitly distancing itself from the speech for the aim of making this content. She then sarcastically requested that the Commission bring up the speech and explain which parts are the Commission and which parts are his personal opinions. The Commission attorney reaffirmed the Commission previous position, saying that even if Hinman personal views were included in the speech, it does not change that he sought legal advice, and could not have given this speech as a private citizen and could not have accessed this information without being Director of Corp Fin. This comment prompted Judge Netburn to inquire whether the Security and Exchange Commission now believes the Hinman speech reflected the views of the Division of Corporation Finance, to which the agency attorney answered positively. A somewhat frustrated judge does not get the caveat, because if the speech is an instruction from the Corp Fin office, anybody might have given it. Hinman, on the other hand, gave it, and it was his own opinion. Every time I ask whether these are Corp Fin opinions, you insist they are. The Security and Exchange Commission, on the other hand, contended that Hinman sought counsel that he could only obtain as Director of Corp Fin, making him the client, and so the notes and emails would be protected by the attorney-client privilege. At the same time, the speech reflects Hinman personal beliefs and cannot be utilized to further the Ripple argument on the fair notice defense or whether XRP is a security. The Commission is just going against their words. Is it another delay tactic? What do you think? Ripple lead attorney, Matthew Solomon, agreed with Judge Netburn that the Security and Exchange Commission has shifted views to suit their interests in the case. Solomon noted that the court had already concluded that the speech was not a deliberate process and that the speech itself said that it was not a comprehensive legal analysis. So, what was the purpose of the advice? What do you think? Judge Netburn said, if the aim of the advice was not to do agency business, then there is a break in the chain, 
to which Ripple attorney Solomon responded that the email screamed that it was policy advice rather than legal advice. The counsel for the commission underlined that the goal of the speech was to provide market assistance, and that the major purpose of the legal advice demonstrates it was exclusively legal advice. And you do not think your assertion that the speech aimed to offer market guidance is inconsistent with views you have taken previously? Judge Netburn said, recalling that the Security and Exchange Commission stated the address was not to provide market guidance in August 2021. Without presenting an explanation, the Commission attorney disputed that its stance is inconsistent. Ripple lawyer Solomon then stated that there is enough evidence here to prove that the regulators want it both ways here and that individuals have been sued here, and their reputations are under jeopardy. According to Solomon, the facts of the speech are clear, they were his own beliefs. That he said under oath, they did not come to be his own opinions. They certainly were. According to the Commission attorney, it is pretty evident that these are legal concerns being studied and the counsel being offered as legal advice, not policy, business, or anything else. Judge Netburn adjourned the meeting at that moment, promising to study the materials and issue a decision as soon as possible. By trying to have its cake and eat it too, the Securities and Exchange Commission has, unintentionally, brought the Hinman speech back into play as market guidance. This, in turn, brings it back into relevance as official guidance regarding whether or not XRP is a security, and it also brings it back into play as a defense for the fair notice claim. However, as the attorney Tian Hogan had pointed out, the regulator's shifting stance on who or what the clients in this case were is obviously an issue for the agency. She had said that the issue with the commission claim is that the plaintiff will struggle to explain who the client is as the agency has taken no less than three positions on whose opinion the speech was, first it was the commission opinion, then it later became Hinman personal opinion, and now it is the division opinion. The judge did not appear to be persuaded by the responses provided by the commission, and Jerem Hogan twisted the knife a little bit more by warning the plaintiff that the regulator distancing from the speech is problematic due to the fact that there must be a reason for the commission lawyers to offer legal advice. And if this is his personal opinion, then there is no purpose for the legal advice. What do you think will happen to the Hinman issue? After that, Jeremy Hogan shared his thoughts on the commission tactics, referring to the commission shift in stance as a mistake, saying that they have to stick with that. Hogan concluded by saying that, and in trying to win a loser, the commission might just have lost a winner. Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.